there's no other way, no other practical way to, to describe all of it other than being racial segregation. But that doesn't hold up, for example, in Bali, there's, there's this um, Palestinian uh, renters. I know Palestinians who live in Israel itself. Well, not not Israeli, Israeli not Israeli Arabs. I mean, integrated in within communities and things like that. In what sense? When Meaning, you say integrated. Integrated how? Um, like for example, I'm trying to think of some examples of people I know um, of of people who came who were from the West Bank. Who sometimes uh, okay, so in with my the green ID. With, no, they have blue IDs. Yeah, they, they have. Got, they have from but they got it. They had green IDs, and they got it because they were um, stopping. I can't remember. They either married or joined the army. That's the no, only no, way. They, yeah, so they, they gave um, information um, for the army so they became right. citizens. So, but oh, yeah, so that's basically it. I don't consider them traitors. I actually consider if, if anyone has saved the life of any person, Palestinian or Israeli, to me, they're a hero. Uh, but what if that's their own consideration? Uh, and that's my consideration. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And in that opinion, sense, no, in that sense, I would say, I would have to say you guys are kind of racist about that. Look, in many cases, Israeli life, but their information might have killed several Palestinian bystanders. Yeah, okay. it's, a very it's a very double like source. Like, so he saved yeah. an Israeli life, and he can tell Palestinians. There's a very big chance that his information might have and have ended collateral uh, damage collateral damage to Palestinian yeah. bystanders. Yeah. Yeah. When, when Ali, uh, when yeah. Abu, Abu Ali Mustafa was assassinated, for example, he was assassinated with an Apache Hellfire missile into the window of his office. How many people were injured? How many people were mutilated? In that incident, no, nobody died. Uh, no, but it's madness, still fair enough, you're right. Madness, you're right. Madness yeah, because one info about someone his, in, in one building, in they house. destroyed the building, they killed it 20. In in Nablus, Nablus, kids. Somebody yeah. gave information about uh, a, a, a Hamas fighter, Hamas fighter. In, a, in a Palestinian prison. And the Israeli military just ended up bombing the prison itself. Killing several people in the process. People who had nothing to do with that. Yeah, but, with yeah, the yeah, group, but I, you guys are sort of saying, I mean, I, you don't have to say it on camera if you don't want to, but some of you, I feel, are saying, yeah, but they, you know, Hamas or these groups, anyone who takes, um, they have the right to do it. No, I no, think they have the right that. to a fair I trial. Feel. No, but. And not, I, none of us even imply that. Okay, no, 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 no. I don't, don't want to get you in trouble at all, it. but I, I get the feeling from the society that the majority, the 80, 90% believe that, yeah, of course we have the right to do that. It's no, it's not, it's not even like that, unfortunately. unfortunately 80% because of the Palestinians, they do believe in non violent movements. No, yeah, no, but when I ask, okay, but when I ask about, for example, there was at Nablus, there was an Israeli uh, family, or the father was killed. Mm -hmm. The story on the street, at least in Nablus, I was told, yeah, um, was Nablus. that he was he was an intelligence officer in uniform. The guy was an ultra orthodox Jew, so he's not going to serve in the army. Mm -hmm. um, and he was he was killed in his car, which I don't know how they could tell from far away as an intelligence officer um, by shooting up. So I'm saying that the, the difference between actual reality, what really happens, and how we wish it was. And I have this, I agree. When I say these people are heroes for trade, for turning in a Hamas, for anyone who says, who does yeah, you say violence, you're, you're right. If somebody, if somebody then, if the army then goes and blows up a building and innocent people are killed, I don't even want that guy killed. But it, it, more worse that other innocent people are killed. Yeah, absolutely, I agree. They're just as so when, guilty when of the crimes. Innocent, you're right. Because that guy lives next to me. Is this like, does it like make any sense? Like there's a Palestinian guy. It's, it's more logic, but you're right. It's, no, on a moral level, of course not. It makes no sense. 